Loading. Welcome to Access the Animus. Hello everyone, welcome to a new video here on Access the Animus. Today we're going to discuss three main pieces of news surrounding some resolved and unresolved mysteries in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. In fact, in this video we're going to discuss the full list of sages slash reincarnations from the game that were seemingly recently confirmed by narrative director Darby McDevitt, then we're going to provide you with a final update on some more solved mysteries from the collector's edition of the game, and finally we're going to report on the newfound mystery of Odin's illusionary rooms as explored by JV and several other members of the community. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking it, subscribing to our channel and turning the notifications on so you won't miss any of our future updates. And with that out of the way, let's dive into the new solved and unsolved mysteries in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It goes without saying that we're going to discuss some spoilers from the main events of the game, so you're warned. Let's start with the sages from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. A few days ago a user called Japanese Brotherhood shared on the Assassin's Creed wiki this picture. As you can see, it shows the classic black mark on the neck that identifies the reincarnations of the Isu that used the 7th method during the Isu era. As mentioned on the wiki page, the new reawakened character is King Harald Fairhair, the king who appeared in the early stages of the game and would later move on to become the first king of Norway. This led to the final reincarnation produced by the seventh method to be revealed to the community, and immediately to more questions about which original Isu slash Norse god he would represent. The discussion went on for a bit until a fellow Italian Assassin's Creed related page, Il Salotto degli Assassini, presented their theory to narrative director Darby McDevitt, who seemed to kind of confirm it, stating I think you got it. So, we can now have a proper idea of the 9 sages slash reincarnations of the Isu that used the 7th method before the Toba catastrophe, who would be Eivor Varinsdottir, Sigurd Styrbjörnsson, Svala, Haftan Ragnarsson, Rig Raidarason, Gal, Faravid, Basim ibn Ishak and, as we know, Harald Fairhair. And again, thanks to Darby's comment and the theory by Il Salotto degli Assassini, we have a pretty solid idea of who their Isu counterparts were. We of course know that Eivor corresponded to Odin, Sigurd to Tyr, Svala to Freya and Haftan to Thor, as seen in Yasgard and Jotunheim arcs, while as mentioned in the Rig Sogur documents in the game, the character of Rig Raidarsson was Heimdall's reincarnation. Then we have Gull, the seer appearing in the Song of Glory comics, whom we ourselves associated with the Isui Dune in our articles, and Basim, who we obviously know was Loki's reincarnation. Lastly, the two characters that were more open to interpretation. Faravid, by many people considered as Sif, that is Thor's blonde wife, because of the way Faravid bickers and interacts with Hathdan, and Harald Fairhair, who we now know corresponds to Freyr, Freya's twin brother. So, we'll delve a bit more into these Isu and their use of the 7th method in our series of videos dedicated to the analysis of the game's context and ending, but for the purposes of this video, yeah, another mystery was uncovered. Moving on, we have an update on the mystery concerning Valhalla's Collector's Edition and the Norden's Ark bow. In our latest video we did mention that we were able to unravel the mystery and where it led us, but that we had also bypassed the step concerning the Isu numbers on the spine of the seal book containing the Collector's Edition of the game, because we believed it to be connected to the location of the lake, which we had already. Well, in the last few days one of our fans, Jedediah Baker or Jed, was able to crack that part of the mystery, which also prompted us to make a mini video on our social media which we'll also use here to show you the various steps he took. As you can see, the numbers in the Isu language were located on the two sides of the spine of the steelbook, so what we needed to do was to open the steelbook and create a grid like this. More specifically, as the inside of a steelbook contained a binary code corresponding to each of the Isu numbers, as we mentioned in our videos, he converted the Isu numbers on the two sides of the steelbook spine and this was the result. By coloring and considering only the ones in the table, Jed found out that it did create the shape of the lake that we had to find in order to find the Northern's Ark, but that was not all. 
In fact, the creator of the Isu language and designer who helped in creating this mystery, Antoine Henri, mentioned online that there was also another hint that would have told players where to find the Northern's Ark bow, and once again, it was Jed who found the answer. He actually found out that the cover of the soundtrack CD of the Collector's Edition presented three formulas of three minerals, silica, periclase and magnetite. As he explained, those are all minerals commonly present in rocks, which were there as a hint to tell us we had to destroy the rock in order to get the Nodren's Ark bow. Once again, as we have mentioned multiple times when discussing this mystery, this was no biggie at all, right? So that should indeed cover all the various parts of the mystery and we are so happy that the community came together this much in order to solve all of its little details. And finally we have to discuss the relatively new mystery of Odin's illusionary rune. This is more of a topic that was discussed in the Ubisoft forums and especially by JV in his videos. You should really check them out as he delves into the mystery way more than we will do here for now, but suffice to say that this is the unsolved mystery that's currently gathering the attention of the community. So, what we are presented with for now are 5 instances of this symbol, which were found out by fans in what are currently locations that do not seem to be related to each other. The first one is located in Grantebridgeshire, very close to Ravensthorpe. The second one can be found in Sussex, west of Brinkcliff Monastery. The third one was found in East Anglia, west of Elmenham. The fourth one can be found in Hamptonshire, south of Uffentoon. While the fifth one is located in Shropshire, west of Repton. They just seem to be symbols placed on rocks that players can't interact with, at least for now, but while we initially believed them to be just elements that were left in the game as an inside reference or as remnants of cut content, seeing that there are at least 5 of them made it seem more deliberate and this was confirmed by narrative director Darby McDavid who, when JV asked him, did state, cryptically as usual, that he and the community had indeed found something. The symbol itself is called Odin's Illusionary Room, and while there's not so much about it online, some pictures and websites mention that it was used to quote unquote make the bearer invisible or shapeshift, such as the Viking Berserkers who took on the form, strength and courage of bears in battle. It's still not clear if that may hold any meaning to the rune and its placement in Valhalla, but as we have seen in other occasions within the game, very rarely mysteries are placed and described randomly. For example, the description of the rune mentions that the rune itself may make the bear shapeshift like berserkers into bears, which is something that actually happens in the The Way of the Berserker unlockable mission, which can be now obtained through the Ubisoft Connect platform, so there may be a connection there, or fans might actually need to have a look at the map and use the various locations in order to triangulate a new location, which is something that JV already attempted to do. Also, the theory that JV is currently supporting the most is that every region in England, possibly outside of it, might have an Odin rune as well. All in all, with this mystery, this is where we stand, with 5 runes in 5 locations and the confirmation of a hidden meaning or purpose for them, although at this point we have a feeling there might be even more Odin runes to be found in the England map. Lastly, we have a tiny mystery that is more of a reference that we randomly found while looking for info about the Collector's Edition puzzle. In the Glower Chestershire region, there's a grave atop a hill next to the Thieves Warren. In there you can find an opal, yes, but that's also not just a random grave. From it we can see a skull coming out and a golden medallion. So we looked this up and the most famous Saxon golden brooch or medallion was this one, which dated to the 7th century AD and was found in the street house Anglo-Saxon Cemetery in Loftus, Northern Yorkshire. While they do look similar, they are not really the same and come from very different regions of England, but we were discussing big and small mysteries so we couldn't avoid mentioning this little find. What do you guys think? Is this a historical reference or something dropped there by the developers? And that was it for today's video, it's kind of incredible to see how Valhalla's main game and territories are still providing so much to look into while waiting for the next updates and expansions. What do you guys think of all of this? Did you know about all of these secrets and mysteries? And more importantly, have you found any other secret or mystery you'd like us to discuss in a future video? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next video.